All right, what's up, guys? Uh, so a little bit of an update on the hood design. Have you guys uh, seen the pictures before? So this is the uh, the video. This is my uh, confirmed uh, final design that I am uh, that I have just actually completed. As you guys can see, I'm, the three scoops here are in the front, and then I have four scoops over here. Basically, they're, they're, they are just going to be cuts, the outer uh, layer only. Uh, not a scoop sorry it's just gonna be a cut and under this there will be a grill you know even from here I had to uh, pinpoint the actual locations for the dimensions you know length and breadth for the hood it was very difficult so I had to start all over from here you know I started with the center and then I started completing from here and then from here and then I came down you know to the final result so this is my final uh, point then I'm gonna have the cut and on the other side as well and of course this bonnet is gonna be in black so I'm just gonna go back and show you again the design it's perfect the full uh, hood is gonna be uh, black and uh, the uh, the logo will be uh, I mean the logo will be in, in gold uh, rose gold I've just kept it in the box but this is a, a gold gold Honda uh, logo so the complete bonnet is gonna be in black and yeah that's about it uh, and we're just finishing the fitment I'm gonna take you quickly to the other side we uh, we were we were welding the uh, the stuff over here so we are relocating the brackets you know, so we can make the adjustments for the 90 degrees uh, uh, pipings all the way from here through this uh, hole and just to fly over the blow off valve and all the way here and then 90 degrees to the turbo. It will be from here 90 all the way down there and then 90 sweet, flush, you know, and basically, yeah. A good job well done you know and I will still have my OEM uh, bumper with the grill and I'm just gonna be doing some more cuts over here there will be more cuts over here rectangular cuts like a diffuser basically so I can allow more air to enter uh, through the bumper and of course this is my uh, uh, bumper design uh, sorry the frame design even the frame that I have I will ha once the diffusers arrive most probably I'm gonna have some more cuts over here to allow for the air to go in so basically I'm using uh, the frame you know uh, for the air to go in you know so not to cause any kind of resistance but actually through the frame and towards the the, the, the chassis and to the radiator and then to the oil cooler and the intercooler you know and uh, of course once everything is done this is gonna be uh, heat painted in black you know because here we live uh, in, in a country where the temperatures are really really high so it reaches 51 degrees Celsius so that's in insane so even the engine uh, the gear everything is gonna be heat painted and I'm gonna have the engine bay also heat painted as well and the dashboard is gonna be removed and I'm gonna have uh, you know the uh, the firewall I'm gonna have a heat shielding uh, blanket all over the firewall from the inside and basically I, I want to have something like daily and uh, track a race car something I can enjoy with you know and enjoy safety as well so whew, it's a lot of work to be done I'm gonna give you a quick look on the shop that we have here at uh, Zafar's garage in Ras Al Khor you know some work is going on AK Coop yeah and uh, that's about it and then I will, I will get back to you on the next video once we are done with the fitting so I can show you how everything has been fit peace
and gentlemen, Sam is having his good work for the hood design now. Cutting off. Yeah. What's up guys? So this is the update for the uh, front bonnet which we have completed and we completely cut it. And at the moment, it's completely clear. This is just the first step until I figure out the way how to do the incisions from underneath because I wanted to have the frame look, you know, but at the same time keep it, uh, you know, intact. So I want, do not want to disturb the main frame. So this is just the first step just to cut the outer cover of the front bonnet. And then I'm just going to be sitting back and then I'll think about how and what kind of design that I can do at the, at the bottom over there so I think most probably I'll just leave it as is you know most probably I'll just do a, an, an, an incision from here and flat it flat it in inwards you know so I'll, I can allow the air to go in and probably just uh, cover it up with uh, a net you know a mesh grill basically that way we already have air scoops coming in you know and we already have a huge scoop over there for the air to go in so it's much uh, easy actually to allow the air to go in um, but I'm gonna see maybe I might I might cut this frame I might cut this only this will be the main uh, two scoops because my turbo is located at the back near the firewall and for the remaining I think I might leave it I don't know so stay tuned and let me see how it goes in the next video see you guys soon peace